arsonist activity responding code 3. Alright, so this is the first major call for today. We are responding code 3 to arsonist activity in area 18-47. I'm pretty sure we have a runner on our hands. Alright, I'm gonna disable my sirens as we roll up on side and my lights as well. We're rocking the discreet charger today. Alright, just look for anybody who looks suspicious. Okay, we have shots fired. That is not good. Now, this game does not have code 3 backup yet. But I'm pretty sure the devs are working on it. So if this game had backup, I would probably call some right now. Okay, we have a runner and we have shots fired. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's our guy. I'm switching to my taser. Hey man, give it up. Give it up now. Don't run into the police. Well, run into the police station. You, uh, do my job for me. Okay, I'm not at a safe ch taser distance yet. Okay, now I am. Taser away. Don't try to do that again. Surrender. Okay. Now, immediately get you in handcuffs because you are under arrest. You commit some arson. You shot some officers. Uh, yep, and that is our guy. Okay, he did have an alcoholic drink on him, so I did run the alcohol test just to make sure... Uh, he wasn't, like, intoxicated or something. I mean, that'd just be, like, a, like an additional charge. Maybe, like, public intoxication or something. I, I don't know. Alright, so now we have to go back to the, the literal dumpster fire. And extinguish that, because this, once again, this game does not have code 3 backup, so I can't, like, call in the fire department. Alright, you're going in the back seat. And I will clean up this fire. Is this extinguisher even doing anything? I don't know. Uh, okay, it looks like it is. Alright, so I'm pretty sure they fired it out. Alright, I'm gonna take this guy back to the station. Alright, we have a stolen van. I'm gonna go ahead and get him lit up uh, down here. They're probably doing a flea, so I wanna trail them for a little bit, see where they're going. It's this black van directly in front of us. Quebec 5117. I totally forgot what F was. Uh. Anyways, Q5117F. I should probably know what F is. Alright. So they seem to be taking over right. Okay, yes, this is a really good area to light them up at. Alright, let's roll. And they are fleeing. Going code 3. This is like the slowest pursuit ever. Like, I didn't know pursuits could be this slow. <laughs> like, them fleeing is questionable. I'm gonna get some spike strips set up. No. Okay. So, spikes failed, they just drove right by them, it took too long to deploy. So, I'm gonna have to continue this pursuit, they are rolling. Like, they're fleeing, but they're like stopping at stoplights, and stopping at stop signs, and using blinkers to turn. They are on a flat tire on their left rear, so hopefully that causes them to give up. I don't have like a morale counter or anything, so I don't really know. Nope, stop, 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 stop. They are continuing to flee, and I don't have backup, uh... They, they did ram me, so I am going to start shooting at them if they continue to flee. Shots fired, shots fired. Step out of the car, buddy. Hands up. Hands up now. Well, I hope that person with a gun call isn't me, so put your hands up, please. Hands up now. Hands up. Okay, I'm just doing... Okay, so he's not surrendering, but I can interact with him. So I'm just going to go hang him in handcuffs. 
Okay, so he didn't have any weapon or anything on him. He did try to run me over with his car, though. So that is why I start shooting. Okay, I'm gonna search this vehicle. There's a reason he's running other than the fact that it's a stolen vehicle. He is in possession of a stolen vehicle, so that might be the only reason he ran. It's because he knew the vehicle was stolen. But, like, come on, we will eventually catch up to you. Like, you, you can run, but you can't hide. Okay, so the he did have a semi-automatic rifle. Now, I'm not quite sure how to go about handling that. Because I don't know if it was a semi-auto rifle that the owner had. Or a semi-automatic rifle that the person who stole the vehicle had. I'm going to run his ID, though. Uh, to see if he does have a weapon permit. If he does not, then that's possession of a legal weapon. Now, we... This is the United States that I am playing this game in, so I'm probably not going to really care too much, but I do want to see if he does have a weapon permit. And he does not. He has been arrested once. He does not have a warrant and is not wanted. Okay. And his driver's license is valid. No traffic violations. How? Okay, anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy back to the station. I know escape convict during transportation is a bugged out call, so I'm not going to take it. Alright, so the car directly in front of me has suspended registration, so I'm going to light him uh, up here. Alright, so we can give him a stoplight. Sorry, officer, but I have a suspended registration. I'm on traffic stop. I'm actually going to go ahead and, go ahead and accept that. Light him up. Let's roll. Okay, they have not stopped yet, so... I'm going to continue trailing him. This is going to be real simple. I'm not going to worry about running their ID because we have an officer in need of assistance. So, alright. Your uh, traffic ticket registration is suspended. Driver's full name. You're free to go. Alright. Uh, responding to officer in need of assistance. Code 3. Call ID 1010. Event number 19. Code 3. Let's roll. My driving is all over the place. Really right outside the police station? Alright, we have a runner on our hands. Hey, stop it. Put your hands in the air now or you will be tased. I don't want to tase you, so surrender now. Man, does running shoeless on that not hurt? Hey man, you fled from us. That's just another charge. Now put your hands in the air now. No weapon, so... Did the officer just want me to... Do his job for him? Am I the only officer that actually does anything around these parts? I think I am. Alright, so now let's figure out why the officer needed assistance. Other than the officer's just lazy. Hey man, why you call me down? Alright, let's find the reason this guy ran. Okay, airsoft handgun. No uh, problem with that. Bag of coupons and groceries. Okay, handgun. That might be a possible reason. Game console, cleaning products, and tablet. Antifreeze. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this toad. I'm going to check his weapon permit in the database. Now, once again, I'm recording this in the US, where... In, in a state where weapon permits don't really matter. So, I'm not really too concerned, but it's just procedure for this game. I want to see if he is in a legal position of a firearm. Alright, search database, Josh Wade. And he does not have a weapon permit, no arrests, no traffic violations, no parking tickets, a valid driver's license, and no arrest warrant. Why did he run? You're, you're perfectly clean, you're probably just gonna get away with like a traffic stop or something like a citation, but you right now you're getting arrested. Man, you're not very smart, are you? Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him in here. Not to mention that officer was, like, directly outside the police station where he could just ask for somebody in the police station to provide assistance. So I'm gonna see what this tow, tow, tow truck is doing. And then I'll be out here. Alright, tow truck's gone. Suspect is in jail. Alright, so I'd say that go ahead and 
concludes my shift in flashing lights. If you found this video entertaining in any way, even maybe educational, you might learn something about police codes or anything, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps our channel, helps good content like this to recommend others. I'll be continuing this game on my channel in the future. Uh, so, fun here, out.